And uh, so uh, thank you all for participating in this dialogue. I personally learned a lot from those most informative and fruitful discussions. I think Ms. Wilson Flores agrees with me that, agree with me that uh, we can keep this channel open to discuss more issues promoting the development of a sound China-Philippines relationship. It's one of my persistent views that China and the Philippines must build a sound and solid relationship because only such relationship can bring peace, stability, and prosperity to both states and peoples. That being said, enlightened by the discussions of experts today, I also have some suggestions for future China-Philippines relations. Uh, first, Peace and development, either at the domestic level or at the bilateral and international level, should be balanced and yeah, taken good care of in any field by both countries. Uh, this also applies to South China Sea. The peace and the stability in the South China Sea will surely bring prosperity to both peoples and help those states achieve development. In the same way, the wealth and the prosperity of both peoples will also help them create conditions for achieving peace and stability in the South China Sea. The South China Sea dispute is a bilateral issue between China and the Philippines, and it should not be internationalized to serve the geopolitical interests of outside party. All South China Sea neighboring states should try to turn the South China Sea into a bond of peace, friendship, and prosperity. Second, as globalization, regional development, and growth is being challenged by developing a false narrative using populism and nationalism, Sino-Philippines relationship should not be taken hostage by advocating populism and nationalism by people from both countries. And as for the South China Sea dispute in particular, it should not be politicized by politicians for political mileage. I think scholars and media in both countries have a special role to play in this regard to promote professional, objective, and additional voices is our common task. Last and not the least, we as Asian people sharing Asian culture, Asian wisdom, and Asian values, must put our destiny in our own hands and not let by others or be disturbed by noises. Only the Filipino people and the Chinese people themselves know what is important, most important to them. The outsiders only put their own agenda setting as priorities. There are countries that always wear colored glasses to observe what we Asians do. When Duterte administration fought against drug dealers and corruption for the interests of the Filipino people, they put forward the label of human rights abuses. This colored glasses disinformation campaign is also conducted repeatedly against China when China established in East China Sea the first ADIZ, Air Defense Identification Zone, in December 2013. They said that it would help expanding China's maritime claim, sovereignty claims, endangering navigation safety of civilian airlines, worsening security situation in the Northeast Asia region. And also when the US conducted its first high profile freedom of navigation in the South China Sea back in October 2015, the excuse is that there are freedom of navigation problem in the South China Sea. Now, years have passed and none of those delegations, allegations turned into reality. None of seaborne treats why South China Sea is affected. And now we heard that the court declaration vows to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific, implying this region is not free and not open. As I said, the seaborne communication is not affected in any way in Indo-Pacific. It is hard not to suspect that it's just another disinformation campaign in pursuing 
agenda setting of some individual states, it is more likely that they use the excuse of freedom of navigation to cover up their ambition to maintain military hegemony. I think we, as Asian peoples, welcome any states from outside to bring peace, stability, and prosperity to this region. Asian peoples would never want to see another Afghanistan war, another Vietnam war, another Korean war, or another Russia-Ukraine alike war. And finally, I, I do mean to keep in time. Uh, many thanks again and look forward to seeing you either in person or online next time. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>